Welcome to About Tonight. I am your host for this episode, Lauren Bock. So you can probably tell already, but we have decided tonight to do a 90s slumber party theme for the show. So uh, there's going to be some girl talk, there's going to be a whole bunch of bedazzling, we're going to burn each other's hair off with crimping irons. It's going to be amazing! So <laughs> see, uh, kick back, uh, throw on your sketches, your My Tico pants, your USA jumper, your baby G watch, and get ready to uh, relive the glory days of the 1990s for the next hour. So you can party on Wayne, party on Garth, and I uh, hope the crimping iron is still under warranty. <laughs> So, uh, things have changed a lot over the last uh, two decades. Uh, just as a comparison, uh, The Lion King came out in 1994, right? Instant classic, yeah? That was 22 years ago. So, uh, in a time difference way, that is the uh, difference between Apollo 11 moon landing and the cinematic release of Terminator 2 Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tamagotchis were also released uh, and subsequently took over the world like a Y2K virus. Topical in uh, 1996. Uh, so that means if someone had kept a Tamagotchi alive that whole time until today, right? That little guy, he could vote, he could rent a house or buy one, uh, and he could even make an own like little Tamagotchi like of his own, right? But you know what? He'd probably just poo everywhere anyway. Uh, the Rachel haircut debuted on Friends in 1995, some 21 years ago. Oh, how we coveted that. Uh, actually, in 1995, uh, was also the year that the United Nations charged 21 Bosnian Serb commanders with crimes against humanity in the Balkans. So, um... Who's to say those two things aren't connected? <laughs> but I'm not a bloody historian! <laughs> uh, so also, the first ever website was put online in a research lab in CERN in 1990. And it is still live. So you can go to info.cern.ch and check it out. Uh, CERN is also where they are currently working on the Large Hadron Collider. You know, the machine that is redefining all we know about the life and the universe and how everything works. So. Uh, you know, I often feel like the same way about my own first website, a fan site dedicated to Scott Wolf. So, <laughs> you know, we've all come really far, guys. Also, language has changed in the 1990s. Everyone was busy taking chill pills, flossing, tripping, getting jiggy, being hella flying, and, and telling bitches to eat my shorts. I am too white for this. <laughs> <sighs> so, your honey, my bad, cowabunga, dude. Oh, boy. Uh, thank God we've done away with all that pesky construct of language altogether. Like now we just sit around and text each other tiny pictures of eggplants and ambulances. We communicate with a bunch of symbols and pictures I like to think of like the princes of Egypt, for example. <laughs> and then there's this one. And finally this one. Mmm. <laughs> Subtle. Yet sexy. Like. Princes of Egypt. <laughs> so television is also enjoying a new heyday with uh, lots of reboots of 90s classics making their way back onto our screens, yeah? Full House is back, Little Fuller, still a house. <laughs> and Mulder and Scully finally returned earlier in the year. Mm, you can just smell the paranormal sexual tension. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yep. Yeah, the embargo has just uh, conveniently lifted. Uh, I can reveal to you some of the 90s classics getting a reboot this season, uh, uh, starring a yours truly. Mm. <laughs> Alright, the first one is a high school drama about how the most popular girl at Bayside, Lauren Buck, uh, must save her high school friends from disastrously high-waisted jeans and bad hair while staying out of trouble with the school principal, Mr. Belding. It's called Save by the Buck. <laughs> uh, there's more. Uh, with the Earth's environment in decay, a new planet is discovered in the solar system, and Lorenbach, together with a ragtag team of outcasts and misfits, must journey to a new world and whatever awaits them there. It's called Third Buck from the Sun. <laughs> and finally, Bucky the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> where I just get to kill dead guys. So anyway, my guests tonight are Claire Sullivan, Isabel Marmion, and Milo Cawthorn, better known as the Green Power Ranger. So please welcome our house band, Pilot Club! Earth, water, wind, water, heart, go planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Captain Planet, he's a hero, gonna take pollution down to zero. Pollution down to zero. He's gonna help us put a 
My first guest tonight appeared on TV in raw comedy at the very tender age of 18, and since then she's taken comedy by the tits and festivals across the country. I know her from her amazing split stand-up show, Sullivan and Bock. You may know her from her solo shows, Claire Sullivan vs. The World and Space Cadet, but you definitely know her as the girl on the Jetstar billboard at the Melbourne airport. It's Claire Sullivan! Hey! 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 Come right, to the slumber in. party! I'm oh, I'm got it over here. All right, yeah, that's fine. Hey, mate. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hello. How are you going? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. good. Hey. Yeah. Did you? What did you used to have slumber parties when you were younger? Or I, like? Yeah, I had a lot. I had uh, quite a few. I yeah. my first one. I was in grade one. Oh, so little. Little, but also bitch. like, did you ever feel like it was? You're nervous. You're like, is everyone going to show up and love me? I don't know. Is it, Mom, have you made all the lolly bags yet? Oh, yeah. I knew everyone was going to show up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are a very popular <laughs> lady. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you are doing a show for I, the Melbourne Fringe, which is really cool. I actually bought this book when I was in Hobart. Okay, cool. I nice. went back to Hobart recently because I'm from there. Uh -huh. originally. Yes, you are. Yes. And uh, I went back for Dark Mofo and I bought this book uh, from a an op shop. That is the, the Wondrous, Wondrous World, World of Dogs. Dogs that is it? a solid book. Look at that, yeah, that yeah, happy character on the front. This He's so nice. cute. It's so good. Great I, book. Turns so out I've been spelling Wondrous wrong all the time. There's no E. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so look there is a, the show that you're doing for Melbourne Friends. Look at these little be... Julux dolls. Ah, yes, the Julux. Julux. Yeah, little paws. Yeah, and it was printed in 1976. Uh-huh. That right seems there. very cool 70s dogs. Yeah. They're very, they're not, they're not very, uh, Clipped. No. You know what I mean. Hey. Oh, oh, that one, that guy's very 70s. Uh, he's hi. A, he is, look at his eyes. He's a. Uh, 420, 420 blazer. 420 blazer. Yeah. So I hear, that, I mean, the new show that you've got coming up is, um, I mean, it's going to be like an accumulation of some of the stuff you've been doing. Nope, nope, I know nope, you've nope. been clowning uh, nah. recently. I mean, you've been doing stand up comedy for like, what, five years nah. now? Five and a half. Five and a half years, which is yeah. so cool. I yeah. mean, you know. Oh, I'm a little corgi. I'm thinking about the world. Yeah, look. You know what? I'm I have a theory, serious. right? So you know how dogs' little their snouts are often called in internet speak uh, a snoot, yeah, right? Snoot, snoot. I would like to start a new concept, which is anyone that has like any dog that has like a little one, snoot, 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 snoot. What about little dogs? Well, they're snot. That's as yeah. That is snot, a, snot, snot, snot. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Snoot. Yeah. yeah. So what's the name of your show for friends? These two are bitches. <laughs> You can tell they're just eyeing off the uh, these oh my dogs. God. Like these dogs are like, what's going over there? And those guys are like, um, why are they so obsessed with us? Oh my us? God. And these guys are like, <laughs> where for snook. dogs? Snoop, yeah. snoop, snoop. Yeah, oh my good. God, what is wrong? Is it like the opening of that song? Oh so my God, So this will be Becky. your third show, I think, that you'll actually enjoy. Yes. <laughs> my <laughs> show's called, um, I Wish I Owned a Hotel for Dogs. Oh, right. Well, that makes, that gives that a lot more context now. I see. This is what we came with. So, what's a, what is in your hotel for dogs? Um, me and more dogs than this book has. What? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things happening. None of it's really connected. Yep. Yeah, it's just a comedy show. Great. Yeah. So, I know you've been doing a little bit more clowning lately and that yeah. sort of stuff as well. Is there a difference between like clowning and stand up or? Yeah, like, oh, it's so technical. Like, uh, stand up <laughs> is like. Hi guys, this is. The, I saw this thing, and then I think this thing about this thing. Yeah, good. Yeah. My opinions. <laughs> yep. Good. Well, clowning is like. <laughs> yeah, those are also opinions, I but expressed in, in a different way. Yeah. Exactly. I said one of them is very loud and one of them is not. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, there's not a lot of transfer over, though, is there? Ah, uh, no. Well, clowning's all about finding joy and pleasure on stage and yep. enjoying the flop, which is like you know yep. the 
Well, comedy is talking death. about my dick. Yeah. 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 But as long so. as they're enjoying the pleasure of their dick yep. on stage, great. then that's great. That's fine. We so, turned it around. Yeah, turn it around. Turn around. I'm also in a uh, monthly cl uh, clown show called Popo Moco. Cool. Yeah, our next like one that. is on the 13th of July in great. solidarity with Orlando. Like oh, of course. Taking That's back really great. queer spaces. And Ooh. when's the Fringe run happening? My Fringe run is on the 15th and 16th and 17th and 18th of September yep. at 9.45pm at the Courthouse. And you can buy tickets online at Fringe, Melbourne Fringe. Just search Melbourne Fringe. <laughs> The website's not live and yet. And the name of the show again. I wish I owned a hotel for dogs. I'm also in the Monash Law Review. Oh, yeah. You're which is, a busy lady. I am. Doing a lot of busy bee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not sure the dates. Good. It's in the Butterfly Club at the end of August. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the show, Claire, and for Thanks. being in the band Fuck. and everything as well. You want to get nice and cozy and cuddly in there? Do you want? Do you want some CDs? Oh, yes, really please. Put on some like glow sticks and oh, stuff. Oh, thank Let's you. Do thank that. you. I will. And then uh, what will no and now we're going to cross to our home shopping network. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Hi, I'm Jessica Wakefield here with my identical twin, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you may remember us from Sweet Valley High. Hi, yeah. And our busy Hi. and exciting lives as teenagers in the go go 90s. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Once we grew up, our lives got even more busy. Oh, oh brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to tell you all about our new book, Sweet Valley Twins and the Shameless cash grab out in time for Christmas through Penguin Publishing. <laughs> We're looking to make one more desperate grab for <laughs> notoriety from our humorous misadventures from a bygone era. You won't believe what we've been up to. <laughs> I married my high school sweetheart, Todd Sampson. Ooh. We're very happy together. <laughs> he just goes away on business a lot. <laughs> I've got a sex tape I made in Uzbekistan. <laughs> You're such a laugh. <laughs> yes, that's so funny. Oh, I brought it with me. Want to see? OK, just so. Uh, what can the <laughs> nice viewers expect from our new book, Out in Time for Christmas, and can we publish it? Has anyone got a VCR? My mum made, bought us a video camera for our sweet 16th that is totally the most radical thing. <laughs> God, you are so gross! You can't just pull that out and stick it anywhere! <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bruce Patman said. I should have just eaten you in the womb like the other twins did. How dare you! We're supposed to be family! Are you sweet Valley High? You need me! You're nothing without me! <laughs> but you, didn't you see, Elizabeth? You are me! It's always been this way! Wait. What? Oh, it's all true. It must be. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Our next guest is an accomplished actor, writer and comedian debuting her solo show in Melbourne Fringe this year. It's called It's My Funeral and I'll Throw Glitter If I Want To. Step one, Melbourne Fringe. Step two, white lady funerals. Please welcome Isabel Marmion. Yay! 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 Hey girlfriend! Hey. hey! Hi, 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 hi. Alright, first of all, maybe just... Tell me about the pajamas. What's happening here? Look, Lauren, I'm a big Frozen fan. I am a, I'm not I am a huge Frozen fan. Oh my god! It's my funeral, and I'll sing "Let It Go" from the grave if I want to. That's it. pretty much three quarters of the show. Okay, right. Yeah, it's done a yeah. lot of work yeah. there. Definitely not of... encroaching on any Disney uh, copyright. You know, I changed the odd word. I, you know, I'll let, let it... zombies go. Like it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Let it live. Let yeah, it... there you go. Don't sure. let no it go. One, no <laughs> one's going to come knocking on your door. Hold on to all your emotions forever. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah. tell us a bit about where the origin, obviously, 
Great title, by the way. Amazing. Well Thank done. Thank you. Um, so basically, last year I had a mental breakdown. Oh, good. So good. I thought yeah, no. the logical thing to do would be to make a comedy show out of it. That's <laughs> a tradition. Yeah, that's tragedy like plus time. That's what tragedy you do. Plus time, yeah. yeah pain yeah. equals. You think of yourself. How can I monetize this situation? Well, you know what? You've got to pay for those psychiatrist exactly. bills somehow. <laughs> you only get like six on private health insurance anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I um, decided to do my own funeral as a comedy show. That's and that's where we are. We're Plus talking with like with a, a casket and a eulogy. Well, like it's pretty low rent. Um, so good. the casket is a cardboard box. Yeah. You know? Yeah, good. Um, save the environment, kids. Yeah, it's it fine. is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely eulogies. Um, if you want to write one for me, Lauren, that would be great. <laughs> Producer's <laughs> credit. I take a 10% royalty, just so you know. Well, okay. <laughs> sure, I'm not going to make any money. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fringe theatre. It's yeah. fine. So, I mean, is it at the funeral, so it's just about death or is there a No, it's kind of really more about life. It's, you know, okay. funerals are a celebration of life and I just kind of wanted to celebrate life in all of its very weird incarnations mm -hmm. and you know get a bit crazy throw some glitter yeah dance a lot it's gonna be a fun party sounds Maybe. like my show glitter dancing <laughs> yeah you guys are actually yeah. really into glitter <laughs> yeah you really love glitter i really love glitter we're actually all both i believe we're at the same venue as yeah. well oh so. that's right you guys are doing the show yeah, at the yeah. courthouse <laughs> in north melbourne during <laughs> melbourne fringe my <laughs> show's on the 15th to the 18th at 9.45 p.m. in the smallest room. My show starts the 19th, also 9.45 p.m., runs for a week. So what you can basically do is just uh, go into the courthouse just and stay, stay there. there. Just stay there. You can there take the some of this, week. like take your pyjamas and uh, just camp out. I'm sure that the guys, that's a great venue. I'm sure they'll really enjoy that. You can get meals there. Like, it's fine. Yep, yeah, you can eat the spare glitter that uh, comes up from when you guys finish yeah, your shows. Just and scrape then it off yeah. and, and then you'll have down. glitter poos like a unicorn. Yeah, you can, we've seen that thing where you can take a pill that actually puts glitter in you. Mm. Has so you know, look, that? Yeah. I haven't done that, but I did the photo shoot for my show recently and afterwards, every time I sat on the toilet, there was actually, <laughs> actually glitter on the toilet seat. Glitter is the herpes of the world. It's Once you've Ash, got it, it's never, <laughs> never going away. Ash never Barker said away. that. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah, But it's a true fact yeah. more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> Cold sores, herpes, glitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So much you glitter. You buried in glitter if you wanted to. Oh, I'd like that. That's the plan. Oh, you okay, know. right. Yeah. She lived yeah. as she died. <laughs> yeah. Fans dress funeral, some glitter. My brother's going to come as a Grim Reaper. It's going to be great. That sounds like a cool kind of interactive <laughs> experience. Do you think the audiences that will come will have like a bit of fear that it's a funeral they're going to? Or? Well, it's kind of more for, you know, my own humour level. <laughs> so I figure if I'm dead, I should at least get some laughs. Like, Sweet. Yeah. That sounds super cool. So when is it again, just so I know? It starts the 19th of September Great. at the courthouse, 9.45pm, runs for a week. I'll throw glitter if it's my funeral, which is what I do. Thank you so much for coming in. And I think what we're going to do now, considering it's funerals and death, but also glitter, uh, we're going to get you to tell a little ghost story. Ooh. It goes with the theme of the slumber party. Don't Ooh. question me. Okay. So if we want to bring the lights down to a, some sort of spooky level, that would be very... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And I've got Ooh. you this torch. Thank you. Do you, you. want to jump under a blanket? Can yeah. I have put this Barbie yeah. over the top of you. Barbie's very thematic. Right. I'm awful at ghost stories. I absolutely hate them. Well... I've told this one a lot, and my best mate genuinely tells me that it's scary. Okay. As, so here we um, go. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't You're worry. Fine? I'll, fine. Just, okay. I'll just hold myself. Okay. There was a teenage babysitter babysitting a baby at this house. Anyway, so she's sitting there. She's watching the TV. She's just chillaxing. And then the house phone rings because it's the 90s, so she doesn't have a mobile. The house phone rings, so she picks the phone up. Centimeter squares are on the washing line. Centimeter squares are coming to get you. Go check on the baby. So she's like, what's happening? I'll, I'll go check on, thank you. I'll go check on the baby upstairs. So she runs upstairs to see where the baby is and the baby is fine, the baby's asleep. She's like, okay, that was pretty freaky. She comes down again, unplugs the phone because she's a little bit weirded out now and she doesn't want to get any more calls. Then onto the TV. 
centimetre squares are on the washing line. Centimetre squares are coming to get you. Go check on the baby. So she's really freaking out now. She runs back upstairs, goes into the baby's room and again, the baby's fine, the baby's just asleep. So she's like, I don't know what's happening now, but she is really freaking out now. So she comes downstairs, she pulls the TV plug out, she pulls all of like the radio plug out, everything out. She's, <laughs> the sheet isn't working well for me. She pulls everything out so there's nothing attached to power in the house and she's just like, I'm just gonna read, I'm gonna sit here, it's gonna be fine. The radio switches itself on. Centimeter squares are on the washing line. Centimeter squares are coming to get you. Go check on the baby. So she goes back upstairs as quickly as she can. The baby isn't in the room. Guys, the baby, not in the room. So she freaks out, she runs downstairs. She's like, oh my gosh, what was that about a washing line? She goes out into the backyard. She looks at the washing line, on the washing line, the baby has been chopped into centimeter square pieces and hung up on the washing line. The end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm not sleeping tonight or for the rest of the week. Oh. Wow. That was a good one. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys. Very Thanks intense. for coming in. Okay, yeah. that's it. That's, uh, that's a good uh, ghost story. We'll to head to a break now, now of some kind, and uh, maybe we'll go back to Pilot Club and hear another song. But uh, join us after the break. We have the Green Power Rangers! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Welcome yeah. back, Pilot yeah. Club! My next guest, Milo Cawthon! It's Morphin time! Go, go, Power Rangers! 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 Go, go
Aha! Well, slumber parties are magic. That's how we managed to magically segue ourselves over here to the couch. Hey! No problem. Okay. Uh, hi, Miller. How are you? I'm good. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Thank you so much for being on the show. No worries. I believe you've come dressed in your amazing dressing gown. Yes, my nice little pretty. silk nighty. Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd be comfortable. A little you know? bit of that action going. Yeah, really get yeah. into the theme of the slumber. Did you ever have slumber parties when you were a kid? I remember building forts out of like uh, oh. out of yeah. out of blankets and stuff. Mm. That was my Perfect. slumber party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think Except really the lamp up is the TP center. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was always a good choice. Mm. We always got the we pulled the couch out and then took the couch cushions and put them against the wall. Excellent spaceship. Yes. Beautiful. Just putting it out there. Okay, just yeah. for future sure. reference. Yes, yeah, future reference. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever have like a kid that like, like got sick and had to go home or something? Or huh. <laughs> I think my the kid like gets to bedtime. That kid. Really, like your brother? My brother. Uh, yeah, brothers are like that though. But he was already at home. But no, if he was like somewhere else, my parents would have to go and pick him up because he was, you know. <laughs> Once I ate some two minute noodles and I vomited everywhere, so I had to go home. Oh. <laughs> and I remember feeling so sad because I really liked the two minute noodles and I was like, What now a waste. I, yeah. <laughs> like one of my favourite foods as well when I was a kid, two minute noodles. I loved it. Chicken yeah. flavour. It's a good flavour. Mm. So tell me about, uh, I know you obviously have other things in your very mm -hmm. awesome career. Oh, yeah. But I feel that we're possibly, we'd do you a disservice for not talking about the Power Rangers. Was yes. it fun? <laughs> it was fun. So tell us more. It was fun. So we, I used to watch Power Rangers when I was six. And yeah. I was like, oh, amazing. Yeah. And then the year later, it got banned because kids, like New Zealand kids, were going into school and being like, hey, I'm the Red Power Ranger. Bam! And just taking their friends Whoa. out. Oh, Nanny Power State? What? Anyway. <laughs> so it wasn't banned here, eh? No, no that's but it was not. so we haven't seen Power Rangers in New Zealand for uh, I don't know twenty years. Whoa! But it's filmed in New Zealand. It's filmed in New Zealand. It's so it's okay to film it there, but don't show it there. What if they took busloads of kids to the set and made them watch it? They should be doing that, but they're not. Wait, is it still banned? <laughs> it's still banned. It doesn't show in New Zealand. Oh what? My gosh. Violence, violence on kids TV. It's not allowed. That's crazy. It's crazy. But I anyway, mean, so I did the two thousand eight season. Uh, I was I played the Green Ranger. What was your name? Ziggy. Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. That's a great the name. Cool, was, Were you the was, cool no, guy no in the way, group? No way, not at all. I was oh. the nerdy, oh. shouldn't have, sh the klutz, oh. shouldn't have been a Power Ranger, accidentally became one. So did you do your own stunts as well? I did not do my own stunts. <laughs> um, there was a there was a two week stunt training period and they were like, okay, cool, we're just going to teach you how to like, do jumps and like kicks and stuff. And a couple of my co-stars had done like gymnastics or like kung fu and they were like, Showing cool. Off, yeah. And so then when it came to filming, those guys, like the kung fu guys would do like a, a few takes and they'd be like, that's great, we're just going to get another angle. And then it would come to my scene to, to do the fight scene. They'd be like, this is great, this is great. Let's just do one take of this. And I'd be like, really? And they're like, yeah, yeah, one take. You got it, man. You got it. It's great. And so I'd be like, okay. And so I'd be walking off set and I'd be like calling in the stunt man. Be like, <laughs> let's do that all again. Because <laughs> I was very uncoordinated. But yeah, there was like a team of stunties, yep. Japanese stunties, that have been doing it for ages. And they fly them over and there's like, there's like eight or nine of them. And wow. they're incredible. They're crazy. Wow. Yeah. So you yeah. said earlier that uh, backstage that you were in Pet Detective as a nerd. Have you always been cast as a nerd? Yeah, nerds, nerds from day one. Nerds, 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 nerds. nerds. I played. There's another TV show called Secret Agent Men where I was like, like Kid 007. <laughs> except I was the Q in that one. I was like the nerdy guy inventing stuff. It's just. Ner but I think in kids TV you're either the nerd or the bully yeah, or the yeah. main guy. There's, There's a not few a lot of in between. Stereotypes. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, just gonna make it. It's really normal. Uh, let's get the stereotype. What have we got? Are you gonna nerd? Yeah, you look fine. You'll do. Put glasses on him. The, other, glasses. Thing, the other weird thing about Power Rangers that I never knew was that when you're in the spandex, because occasionally you'd be in the spandex but you wouldn't have the helmet on, and when you're in the spandex, because they don't want you to have a VPL. What's VPL? Visible panty line. line. Of course. <laughs> you have to wear a G-string. <laughs> so all the Power Rangers ever, when they're in the Lycra, are wearing G-strings. And it's very uncomfortable <laughs> and horrib horrible. I kind of feel like that's a lot better than Commando, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is better. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Between Obviously. the two options. <laughs> Visible PL. Is it that or you're running and then it's Visible like... PL. <laughs> maybe that's why it's banned in New Zealand. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Because they're like, you know what, we just don't want someone's <laughs> junk just flopping around everywhere. Put a G-string on, it's still no good. You know what, guys? Just blank it Just can it, can it. Get rid, get rid. Uh, so did you, I mean, you didn't do any stunts, but did you learn any, like, power moves or anything? Uh, you know, funnily enough, I did have a morph move. Great. Would you guys like to learn? Yes, 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 yes. Let's do this. Yeah, okay. All right, so, okay. Right. Okay. okay. So, well, first of all, we need colours. So what colour do you want to be? I will be blue. Okay, blue. I'll, be, I'll be white. Off surprise. Uh, yellow was my favourite. Yeah. Okay. Green. <laughs> and 
Okay, and so, <laughs> so no silver. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So all first right, so of all, so, so imagine you have a big morpher yeah. on your on your wrist. Okay. okay. And okay. our stunt coordinator used to tell us the camera's going to be on your face, but you have to sell the toy. Okay. So to sell the toy, you oh, go. Sell the toy. Boom in front of your face, because that's all the kids want. They want the toy. Okay. So I'm going to say ready. You guys are going to be like ready. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then okay. hands down by your side. Okay. okay. And then we'll go. Whoosh. Left hand up. Sell the toy. Whoosh. Sell, sell the, the toy. toy. And then we'll say RPM. Up here! Get in gear! Get and then you go, in gear! You flip the little toy, you go, and then you go, left hand, right hand! Okay, should we practice that? Yeah, yes. uh, yep. Okay. Ready? Ready! Ready. Up here! Get, get, get in gear! Get in gear! That was, that was great. Oh, okay. that was great. That was we good. are the new you're Power now, yeah, Rangers. Yeah, you're now officially Power Rangers. Yeah. 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 Well done, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be back and we'll play some games and stuff. Sounds good? Awesome. <laughs> everyone's favorite, everyone's favorite uh, gang of uh, crazy people in sync, <laughs> or whatever they're called. Okay, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to do now uh, to uh, just really again stay with the real theme. I really made a decision on this. Um, we're going to have a speed 1990s hair challenge. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we've got our lovely uh, assistants here who are going to, who have provided the hair on their heads. So the hair models. They're the hair models, uh, and we're going. Claire and I are going to face off against each other uh, to see who can create the best '90s look. Um, so if you want to just peruse down here, we have we've got some amazing hair gel, like a little slosh of that kind of stuff. We've got some butterfly clips, a classic, absolute classic. We've got some glitter, got some scrunchies, got some gems, got some whatever these things are. You know how you used to, yeah, every, okay, nostalgia. So, and uh, we're going to have the uh, dulcet tunes of the uh, pilot club. Uh, it's gonna play over the top of us. And I reckon at the end of it, you guys are gonna decide who, who looks the best. You'll have good hair, you'll know. You'll pick me, though. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Claire, are you ready right to <laughs> once again... Let's solve and bock this. Yeah, I think so. And Milo and Isabel, how are we feeling down on the ground? Look, I'm feeling like nervous, but also excited. It's mm. been a long time since I've rocked a 90s look. Mm. I yeah. might just put this right here. Okay, okay so making some suggestions like now. No touching until we start. <laughs> But, but in general, I'm feeling pretty positive. I yeah. really feel like I can get my 90s. You got a lot. You got a really great head of hair there. So. Yeah. I feel like Claire. Have you have you got any ideas about what yeah, this might? What's, what's, what's coming? the inspiration? Yeah. What I'm gonna going? use my own inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Milo, are you, are you, did you ever get your hair done when you were like a kid? Did like your sisters steal you away? And um, every Tuesday I would go to the salon and sure. get it dyed, curled, little perm. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling nervous. Yep. But excited because you only live once. Is that isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but that is not a nineties term at all. Oh, okay, shit. Sure. <laughs> believe, yeah, believe in yourself. There you go. That's a good believe one. Hang in, in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, with the kitten. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Power bunga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Calabunga in? Are we all, are you feeling ready? I'm, I feel like yeah, I, I could feel cheat ready. and just start. I'm ready. But I also have a lot of nobility, so I think I'm going to be fine. I will admit my hands are very sweaty. Okay, good. Well, sweat is kind of like Sweat's the gel. Great It'll be fine. Hair, right? Okay, we're going to have a little bit of time to get ready. Are you ready, guys? You ready, Ben? Ready. Right? ready. Yeah, let's do this. Excellent. Okay. And we'll count down in three, three two, two, one, go! Right. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? Um, do you want, want these guys? And I want, yes, as many uh, as the, many of these guys. Can you get the back yeah. off there? Okay. Okay. So can you actually hold your hands out? Okay, and I will oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yes! So See, we've me... got enough teamwork going already to last a lifetime. So, what's the base idea that you're going All right, for? Alright, so here? my base who's, idea who's look? Is, uh, is we're going for like, a, like an aqua. Okay. Kind of style. Oh, All right. Very so that's stylish. a that's a great band. Barbie so, girl. We're going Barbie girl. Going Barbie girl. I'm worried I'm gonna um, end up knotting your hair up, so you're gonna have to 
do a very good comb at oh, the end of I this. I will. I'm very good at that. This yeah. you have. This is great. You've got like a lot of. There's a strength in there. Yeah, there's good strength. And there. there's the like, root but, strength, you know, it's very strength. um, it's very uh, manipulating. I can yeah. really get in there. I'm not going fast enough. It's okay. Malleable. This is really good. <laughs> now should I be doing? Yeah. I'm serious. I'm standing up now. Should you, I be doing things to my hand? Should I be putting rings on? Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Actually, like yeah. Like yeah. Like put yeah. a ring on. You're gonna do your face a little bit. You're gonna look like a beautiful princess. Just you wait. You're gonna look like a beautiful princess. Hey, thank you. So, are there any like style icons from the '90s that you're really trying to reflect? Maybe I suppose the closest would be like Baby Spice. Oh my god, I loved Baby Spice. Yeah. I played Baby Spice. Did Anyone you? else? Were you, you a Baby Spice? Baby Spice. No. no, when you when your friends used to play. Oh, she was. We the, played Bardo. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who were you in Bardo? I don't remember. I feel like we've reached confession time of the hair challenge. New Zealand had a Bardo and they were called True Bliss. True Bliss? Oh, and their I'm first song was like, they've been waiting their whole life for this one night. That, oh was, the, no. that was the theme of the song. It was that's, a bit risque. That's beautiful. Um, I this know. is already looking amazing, can I say? What I'm we're already way, in the lead. already way in the lead. I'm not sure if I'm going to believe a mullet sure or if that's true. like an 80s or 90s thing as well. well dude, I'm going to leave this in. Dude. Yeah, this I is think sick. You I remember um, there was the scandalous song? No, the, the, the oh, that's Whoa. toxic, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, take it back, take it back. Scandalous was, uh, I had it on top of the rooftop. Yeah, that's right. I don't remember what it was. Look, it's all a blur, really. I mean, like, definitely video hits had a lot to do with, uh, with my identifying of how, good. like, how cool I want. I definitely had these butterfly clips, which I am going to make use of, by okay, the way. Okay, all right, good, I'm glad. But I feel like we're just... <laughs> Leave, all right, I gotta leave some room to breathe. Okay, yeah, yeah. what's next? Oh, my hands are all sweaty as well. Okay, palms are sweaty. Oh, did Mom's you guys spaghetti. go and do any like concerts in the 90s? Concerts? I did Michael Jackson. Was cool you what? Yeah. That's you saw awesome. Michael Jackson? With my, with my parents. Do you remember it? Yeah, yeah vaguely. The... I remember being way at the back and then people tried to break in. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was scary. I would. That, that, I think that tops it. That tops it. I, I definitely think, wasn't yes. cool enough to go to concerts. I think I went to. <laughs> I think I went to Peter Coombe. Peter Coombe. Yeah. 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 Who, Who was had Peter an Coombe? amazing oh. Peter Coombe. Wash your face with orange juice. Wash your face with orange juice. I think those are. It's an Australian. It's an Australian thing. Australian thing. He was a singer. Basically, he was a singer. He had a couple of silly kid songs. But a couple yeah. of years ago, he had like a massive revival and he started playing again. Really? The same kids songs and all these like 25 to 30 year olds bang up for some nostalgia. Amazing. Uh, just like, yes, here comes the gel. Two minutes! Two minutes, yeah, here we go. Right. Here okay. comes the gel. Oh the gel is God. happening now. I just want to make it nice and wet along the side hey, there. Enough. Yeah, glass Just a little bit of that. <laughs> and, um, oh crap. So we actually have a little bit of makeup as well. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do a little bit of glitter. And I think lipstick could be, could be quite useful right, as well. So I'm going to do you like a Power Ranger. Yeah, nice. This is going to open up all your eyebrows. Oh it's wow, like, that's And it's great. definitely a little bit sort of like ravey kind mm. of thing. It's like a bit, well. a bit of a mask. Maybe, sorry, I'm just going to undo the nose. Here we go. That's so great. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. And then that can stick there though. Oh, not quite. I can't. I completely forgot about the hair thing. Everything is fine. Ah, I feel like we've gone for you've gone for a concept of buns, which is good. But I'm just gonna dude, we've put got that. don't worry, yes. we've got this. We've got Chris this. Okay. Wait, wait, take that off. Yeah. Take the time. How much time do we have? Oh my god! One minute. One minute. One minute. I'm not panicking. One minute. I'm better put right. some lipstick on too. Crystal, we more. Getting some more. Crystal, we more. More crystals. Where are the crystals gone? Where are the crystals gone? You got it all. No, no, I feel like. I need whoa, 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 my crystals, my crystals. I need some crystals. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, where's the lipstick? <laughs> All right. Ha. Ready? The orange one, I can't get the orange off. <laughs> Why do you want the orange one? Oh, this is I want to put the orange one on me. Okay. <laughs> I need some orange. Take the orange off, quick. <laughs> quick, take the orange off. Quick, put these on. Put these on your wrist. Put them on your wrist. Put them on your wrist. Put them on your wrist. Your thin little wrist. Quick. Can we get this over the head? Oh god, oh god, yes! Yes, okay. that's fine! I that's fine! No, 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 like that! It's caught! Cool. It's caught! Cool. <laughs> it's bad, Dad! Okay, close your eyes. Nine, eight, eight seven, wait. six, five, four, four three, two, one! one. Two down, two down, two down, two down! Two down. down. Just down. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, All right. nice. Yeah. You know what? I feel like At the like end of the day, the nineties is the real winner. Uh, but Ben, do we have a do we have a consensus? So, <clears throat> so for, so from we've got Milo, we've got 
Isabel. So Isabel. Hello. We have a representative that can Hello. speak on behalf Hello. into the microphone, please. You do have the longest yeah. hair. Oh, okay. Speak, the judges are conferring. Oh, okay, okay, right, 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 right. Judges are conferring. Okay, all right, Speak into the, okay, the singer microphone. <laughs> I feel like they're milking this a little bit, yeah, but okay, oh, come on, let's come on. Let's hear it. Right, who is it? Me. <laughs> Ready? 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 That is, uh, I think I'm we're at the end of uh, this episode of About Tonight. Uh, we have done, please thank my guests. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so to the band. Thanks to the band as well. We're going to hear another song from the band and then we're going to yeah. say goodnight. So, thank you very much. I've been Lauren Bach. And uh, please, everyone, stay radical. There we go. Stay rad, guys. Stay rad, guys. Come on! 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 Come on!